Buckle up gentlemen, we got sponsor for today's video, that's right, it's LD player. What? You haven't download LD player yet? Why the heck not? LD player is my main emulator, since it's the most Sigma Android emulator ever. Riz. And it has feature that other don't. Like the sync feature that allow you to play multiple account. You can play two account at the same time. Heck even better. Eight account. Oh my peace. Anyway, download LD Play and now link in description or pinned comment down below. I've Alive is one of the event that exist in Blue Archive. So this event is well complicated to see what's going on here. Especially if you can't read them. But how to understand this event exactly without putting so much effort into it is simply by going in and balancing all stats until you able to maximize the first three stats. Sure it won't max on first and second round, but keep going on until you able to max them. When all three is maxed, then try to increase the last stats until near to 150. Increasing the last stats costing all the other three stats reduced, but to make sure that three of them are not below 1700 stats. So, you only need it several times than often. You keep doing this until unlocking the secret ending. Global sure is noticeable. I do unlock that secret ending. And this is how much the requirement and the rewards, if you do able to make it. The main rewards are Eri Band. She is a good a niche student if you are planning to skip current banner. Highly recommended to obtain her until 7 stars or UE40. With PvP token spending, you won't able to 5 stars her of course, but you should be able to at least 4 stars and buying her elf for the rest, only if you are about to use her. If not, then you might want to pull Kazusa band. Airy X skill increasing explosive efficiency as high as 180% on maximum level, the buff lasts for 30 seconds and she gains sugar rush state with cheap X skill cost just 2. This self buff is good for only single content, well that is the fury of set, other than that is never tested or not fit enough. Basic skill just simple dealing damage, but to trigger it, she need to perform 12 basic attack. Which could possible a spam basic skill if she gain lot of attack speed buff. Mostly, this is where her damage source comes from, moreover she is self buff so, the peak damage she contribute is near to 2 million damage per basic skill, but that only apply on fury of set. Enhanced skill, increase range and attack speed. Attack speed is so useful in there, also attack as well. Sub skill is an auto debuff applied to the enemy when she have the sugar rush state, she applied decrease critical damage resistance to the enemy, then again, it's barely noticeable. The question is, should you build her, after hearing that I am telling you to UE40 her, well the answer is not worth it, perhaps you already have student that could replace her position, maybe you already have Yoshimi banged or Kazusa banned. And fully build S non a milk or hina dress. So, that's how unfortunate. But what's the point of UE40 her anyway? Well, no reason at all. Maybe you have the reason. And that's it. About the current event and welfare student. To simplify from the event is that, you don't need to hurry wasting the event currency. Try to find the hidden ending first, by increasing the first of 3 stats into more than 1800 and the last stats to be more than 150. And you will gain 30% stats bonus from the previous round. It just to make it easier to find hidden ending. But what's with the hidden ending, is for 200 pyrrhics. And that should be all, as always, Godspeed.